guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to easily downgrade from iOS 11 back to iOS 10. This process will work as long as iOS 10 is being signed by Apple servers, and you can expect Apple to stop signing iOS 10 after the official version of iOS 11 has been released. Don't worry about losing the data on your device, this process will preserve your data as long as you follow all of the steps carefully. As a little side note, this process will work for any version of iOS that Apple is currently signing whether it be iOS 12, 13, 21, whatever. As long as the firmware is being signed and supported on your device, you will be able to use this process to get to that version. This process is very simple, like I said, and the first step is just go in your browser, go to this website I have in the description of this video, come in here, find your device, click on the model that you have, be sure you have the specific model, and then select one of the green firmwares that are available, and choose the version that you want to go back to. And then just click the big download button. All right, now that I have my IPSW file on my desktop so I can find it easily, I'm gonna open up iTunes and connect my device. If your device has a prompt asking you to trust the computer, be sure you tap on trust. Next up, you wanna go ahead and hit backup now inside of iTunes. This is just in case something goes wrong during the downgrade process. Now, on a Windows-based PC, hold down the Shift key, and if you are using a Mac, hold down the Option key. While you are holding onto that key, click on Check for Update. In here, you'll be able to find that IPSW file that you just downloaded. Click on that, hit Open, and then just click Update. Now this process will take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes depending on which device you have. But once that is done, you'll be greeted with a normal setup screen. And just go through it and set it up like usual. Be sure you hit trust on any trusting prompts. And through the magic of video editing, I am done setting up my device. Let me just go ahead and show you that I am indeed on iOS 10.3.3. And bang, this video is done. I do recommend you creating another backup inside of iTunes just so that you have a version on iOS 10. I've got lots more in the works guys, maybe even a giveaway soon. Be sure to tell your friends and don't forget to subscribe. If you do subscribe, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.